Okay, rather than typing money and savings again, um, and then putting it down here where um, the logo repeats down at the bottom in the, the color bar, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So what that means is I highlight the text, and I can either go the long way, which is edit, copy, and then edit, paste, or I can use the commands, Command or Control C, Command or Control V. And I'm going to use the shortcuts because these ones I think are totally worth memorizing because I use them all the time. So Control or Command C to copy, and then I'm going to put my cursor down in the, the text frame, which I've already adjusted the inset spacing for, and then paste it. Now obviously I can't see it because it's black text on a black bar background, so um, I'm going to go switch the color to paper, which means, whoops, I didn't select the whole text. Okay, paper, which means whatever the color of the paper is will show through here. No ink will be printed. And um, now from here, I can either change the sizing as specified in the, the document, or I can eyeball it just by selecting it and then hitting um, my shortcut for shrinking text, so that's command or control shift, and then the left bracket to make it smaller until it's about the way that I want it. And it looks like there's still some text there, so I'm going to delete that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is right align it because it's supposed to be on the right and then still the spacing's a little off. If I show you um, in preview mode, whoops, where's preview mode? This is what the, the document will look like after everything's cropped. Um, the bleed is chopped off and so clearly the text is going off into the bleed area. So um, it's always good when you're using a, a bleed to double check using preview mode constantly to see how it's going to look because sometimes it's easy to forget that the bleed is going to be chopped up. So, <coughs> that being said, I'm going to pull up my text frame options, Control or Command B, and then add the inset spacing specified to all sides. Hit OK. It's still falling off into the bleed zone, so I need to add that indent. There, you can do a right indent or a left indent in the control panel. Um, let's see, the right indent is over here. I think, uh, point, let's see, it was 0.5 indent. There we go. You can either use the up and down arrows to scroll up and down, or you can type in 0.5 inches. And then um, I also noticed that this image here, is not cropped the way it's supposed to be. This is much more zoomed in, so I'm going to adjust that. Grab my selection tool and then double click on the image. Make sure that, okay, you're not in the frame. If, if Again, if it's blue, highlight. If there's a blue selection marquee around the window, that's the text frame. And if you double click and, or click again, I guess, um, and it turns yellow, that's image that you're adjusting. So again, I'm going to hold down shift and just make it bigger. And as you can see, this image is just in the window. It's behind the frame. And so I want to get it to about here, I think, like so. And that looks good. I'm going to make sure it's in the bleed still. Okay. And that looks good, and then I'm done. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Also, I think I lowered this a bit. There we go. Let me just double check to make sure it looks about right. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, and then, um, and if you want to see what the image looks right now, it looks kind of grainy because it's, the viewing mode is display performance typical, and if you want to see what it looks like, in high quality, press high quality, you can get a good preview. Again, for preview mode W, you can switch. This is what the final product will look like. And then if you want to, let's see, and then we, well, we I want to show you the printer marks. So if you go to print, 